Hello everyone, welcome to Lucy's Vision. I'm Lucy. I'm going to do a character reading for the character Tangle. This is a continuation of everything I've been sharing so far of different characters that reminds me of my childhood um, TV shows I used to watch and TV um, and children movies that I used to watch as well, as well as nursery rhymes. I've been channeling these different characters as well as these nursery rhymes um, very recently. Um, this character that we're about to do today, which is Rapunzel from the movie Tangled, um, I channeled her ever since 2020 actually. I never took the time to decode the vision that I had about her and her character type. So I would like to know more about who this character is. Because like I mentioned before in all the other character readings, I said that these all connect. Uh, this all determines your true nature as an individual and the type of character you are regarding our future. So it's all going to make sense soon. I'm going to bring it forward again. Um, so just stay tuned for that. Um, the vision I had about Rapunzel was very dark. Um, so it, it led me to believe that there's something more when it comes to Rapunzel that many people do not know, especially I didn't know until I had this very dark um, it, it seemed like a dark fantasy v vision that I had about her. It was very dark. It was like, what the heck is this? Um, and in my vision, I'm, I'm not going to go deep into it because I just want to focus on the character. Uh, what was highlighted was her hair. Uh, the significance of her hair that was highlighted. And she also had enemies that really did not like her. But it was also something that she had. She had a gift that she... I know that she was more gifted more than... She was gifted in different ways, I should say. And people didn't like that. And the vision I had regarding this dark this dark vision I had about her, uh, it was I was seeing the medieval times. So this character is old. Rapunzel is a very old character. I believe it's set in the medieval times, to be honest. That's the, that's the setting of the, the movie. But what I was seeing is the medieval times, but there's something more to her character, and there's something more to her story. So let's just see who is Tangle. If you guys are not familiar with uh, Rapunzel from Tangled and haven't watched that movie, I suggest you watch it. Because um, I'm sure there's hidden hidden messages in that movie. Um, because obviously I'm doing um, a reading and a, I'm decoding her. And I had a vision about her. So there is obviously a hidden meaning to that movie and as well as this character. But what I'm, ha I'm focusing on just on the character. So if you guys want to know more about the movie, go watch it. Okay, on your own time. But what was highlight on my vision was her power, her gifts, and her hair. And what her hair can do. That was what was highlighted. So let's see what comes out. Universe, please use me as a channel to share with the collective as well as me on who is Rapunzel from Tangled. Who is Rapunzel from Tangled? 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 Okay, so we have... How many cards do we have? We have four, five, six, seven cards that came out. Seven. And there's a seven here. There's a ten. Two tens. So that's the end of a cycle. And then we have three and five. So, yeah. So we have three, five, seven, two tens. Okay. We have four major arcanas and three minor cards. So, what was major about her? Like, who she was as an individual? Like, her self? She was an empress. That's what's coming out. She was, she was an empress, but she was also, like... She care. She was a caretaker. I'm getting. She was a caretaker. She watched over the children. She was feminine energy. Like she represents feminine energy. Look at the symbol on the shield. If you guys can see, the feminine energy that was her. It's shaped as a heart, which is love is feminine energy, as well as the symbol. 
yeah, I forgot the name of the symbol though, but I know it represents feminine energy. But um, I forgot the name of it. But um, there's a smudge on her on this picture. There's like a small little speck of blue, and that wasn't there before. So that's sticking out to me. There's a sm there's a speck of blue in her hair, and I feel like that's significant. There's blue. And that could have been from one of my ink, my blue ink, but I will, there's a speck of blue in her hair. This Her hair is gold, like her hair is highlighted. You see how it's highlighted? It's like blonde. That's just like Rapunzel in, in the movie Tangle. Her hair would glow and she had naturally blonde hair. And it's glowing because she has a halo and she has the 12 stars. The 12 star represents zodiac signs. It represents the 12 constellations, the 12 stars. The 12 constellations of the zodiac. She's a caretaker for the, the youth, the youngs, the children. She cares for them. She watch over them. And she has something like blue on her hair. And pink. The color blue is sticking out to me. The color yellow and the color pink. Three colors. There's a lot of smudge. I guess one of my other ink. If you guys can see it. I think it's one of my pink pen. That wasn't there before. I didn't notice it before. But now it's sticking out to me in clear as day. So I feel like that's the reason. It's sticking out to me. There's something regarding the color blue and pink, as well as yellow. When it comes to the character Tangle, aka Rapunzel, this is drawing my attention, actually. The Wheel of Fortune, which is t the 10th the Major Arcana, then we have the Ten of Wands in reverse which is the 10th minor arcana, and then we have the Knight of Cups, upright. The Knight of Cups is right above the 10 of Wands in reverse. People watches people. There's people that okay. This character type smells good. I don't know why that's good, but it's like that's what's coming out with him smelling the rose. It seems like he's smelling the rose. She smells good. People like the scent. Her scent. She has a. She has a sweet scent, and it's strong. She has a sweet scent, this character. So you might, if you resonate with this character, you oftentimes smell good, that people are drawn to by your scent. But it's like, it's not about perfume or anything. I feel like it's more of like your, your essence. You have a sweet essence. Like, it smells, but in a good way. It's sweet. It's, it's strong. People love it. People are drawn to you by your scent which what they're really drawn to is your aura your your soul your soul is like a sweet rose it's like a sweet rose but people just think that you smell so good but no they, they are drawn to your aura your your soul and that's that's what represents tangled because if you guys are familiar with the movie tangled <laughs> this is what represents Rapunzel it's just getting me confused with the, the movie and the character um if you are familiar with that movie, Rapunzel, uh, in the movie Tangled, she um, was sick as a baby and the, the she's a water child and the king and queen was worried that she was dying and stuff like that. So they heard about this flower, this special flower, this magical flower that can basically heal her and help her survive this sickness, whatever she was dealing with. And they gave the flower to the child and it changed everything about her. Like it gave her... Not only did it heal her, it gave her powers. It like it. It came with gifts. 
it changed her. Like it, it, she was glowing. Her hair was glowing, and I think her her whole essence was glowing. It became one with her. This flower, it became one with her. So that could represent anything, um, really. But like when it comes to this character, she became one with herself. So she became. Well, I think how I just stated that, I feel like when she became one with herself, she became who she always was. I feel like that flower was her the whole time. Like, I feel like that flower was part of her the whole time, like a magnet. It was always meant for her to be that flower. It was always meant, that flower was meant for her, her alone. No matter who wanted that flower, it was always going to be her. So I feel like that's significant. It's like she awakened to who she really is. That could be an awakening. The flower represents some type of awakening. A, a gift that sh uh, something within her that awakened that part that healing magical part of her that's how I'm seeing it it was always hers it was always hers so yeah this person they the people like the, the, her scent her aura her energy but I'm, I'm looking at the knight of cups on top of the ten of wands in reverse. The Ten of Wands is in reverse. People are, um, like I said, people are drawn to her, but it's like they want her. People want her. Or they want, like, they want her. Like, they see, they think that it's just her attractiveness or her scent or whatever, but they really want her light. What makes her her. People want her. A lot of people want her. But this is what's drawing me to. Is the Ten of Wands in reverse. This is what drawing me. Draws me. The penny is sticking out to me. Because you guys look at this, the deck. If you guys can see. You see the penny in this picture? That's what's sticking out to me. Is the penny. People feel like they're far, they're, they're, um, is not worthy of her. People are, feel like they're not worthy of her. People are afraid to look at, look into her eyes. People are afraid to look into her eyes. This character, this is what I'm picking up, you guys. People are afraid to look into her eyes. They, they automatically bow down to her. They bow down to her. Whatever her her soul, her soul represents something much more than people realize. That flower is something very special and magical. Like in the movie, they made it like you know, flower healing. It's something so much, something more to this flower, something more to her, her essence, her soul. It it makes people want to bow. It makes people want to like. It it's like, it's like they it's like. I'm not saying they don't have control. It's like more of like. Her presence, like I said, is like they are addicted to her scent, her aura, and her energy, her soul, to the point where it's like they automatic. As soon as she enters a room, they, it's like that. It's like, like that. Like it's like it's like they it's like they shut down. She doesn't deplete their energy. She doesn't do that. It's just they can't handle her energy. They can't handle her. They can't handle her presence. That's how strong she's. Very strong. Her her aura is very powerful. It's strong. It's potent. It's 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 strong. People want it. They want her light. They want her light. But the thing is, I'm I'm drawn to the penny. People may not see. Like people don't understand why they are drawn to her. Because the penny, right? People may see her as a penny. Like something that's not someone you will look at. But there's something that draws people into her. There's something about her that draws people in. It's like she has this sweet aura. This sweet energy. And people don't understand why they are drawn to her. Because she's, there's something more to her. She's not a penny. She appeared to look like a penny. She appeared to look like an average being. An average Joe. Just like the movie Tangled. Rapunzel. She looked... Like a normal little princess, a normal little girl, but
But when she, when her hair highlight, when her, when her hair like, you know, lights up, it brights up, and people see it, and people are so drawn to her hair. You know how people are drawn to the, her scent from the when I pick up the car, they're drawn to her, her scent, but they don't realize what her hair can do. They don't realize what she can do. It's like they, they don't know why they're so drawn to her. They don't know why they they feel like they have to bow down to her. Because there's something more to her. She's not a penny. So whoever this character type, you may, the collective, whoever you may be, there's so, you may come off as someone who's average looking or average. You just blends in with the crowd. You don't stand out. You don't stick out from the crowd. People don't really see you, you know, but people are still come up to you they can like probably talk to you about anything they can even share expose themselves and share things about themselves more than you care to know and more like it just it can come off surprising when people come to you and they start opening up to you you have this opening air aura about you that people feel like they can trust but also people feel um intimidated by you they don't know why and they also feel drawn to you at the same time they also feel like they should respect you, too. Even though you look like a penny. Look at the card again. Even though you look like a penny. Why am I drawn to your light? Why it's you? Why it's you? Why am I drawn to your light? What is it about this penny that makes me want to bow? What is it about you? And they... And and I said like they want what you have because in reverse it came out reverse it didn't came out upright so I'm I'm reading it from the reverse like this. Look at how it seemed like she's pull, like trying to pull in like trying to like you see again. Remember I said it's like as soon as your present comes in the room whatever it's like people feel like they have to bow down they can't look in the eye. But at the same time it seemed like when it, when it's in reverse this per person is like trying to like push through whatever. It's trying to push through, trying to get to you at the same time. That's how I'm reading it. But they can't because it's too. you're too strong. Your aura, your energy is too powerful. They can't handle you. They can't handle your power. They can't handle you. Like People are intimidated. They can't look you in the eye. This Rapunzel character, Rapunzel... People can't look you in the eye. There's something regarding her, these three color, color types I'm seeing. There's pink, there's blue, and there's yellow. Those are the three colors that I'm seeing that's sticking out. Pink, blue, yellow. And she's an empress. She's uh, She embodied all the queens. She, but she's like a mothering, nurturing caretaker. She's a caretaker for the youth. She cares for the children. She cares for children. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, let's move on to... The Wheel of Fortune that I'm seeing. And also, like, with the Ten of Wands in reverse, people don't feel that they not live up to you. Like, they don't amount to you. Like, their value is nothing compared to you. Even though you may appear like a penny, they feel like they, they amount to nothing compared to you. Like, they have nothing. That all the things that they may have, all the things that they may accomplish, all the position, that, even the position, they may, they may even have a higher position than you. They may have something that you don't have, right? But they still feel unworthy in your eyes. They feel unworthy in your presence. They feel unworthy in your presence. They feel like everything that they have and they accomplish is useless compared to you. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, the world of fortune. Children love you. They love you. They admire you. The world of fortune came out. I see that the children love you. Look at the picture of this world of fortune. What's drawing me this little girl right here? Her smile. People might love your smile. You might have a, a nice smile and big eyes. You have big eyes. You come off innocent, pure. People love your smile. 
People love your expression, your facial expressions that you make. It, it comes off as a, as if like a, as if you're a child. You come off innocent, and you have different faces. You have different phases or different face. Both. I'm hearing both phases. People saw you in different phases, and you have different faces. If that makes sense, you have different. It could be facial expressions, but is there something about your face that draws people in? You see, people see you as a child. You might have short hair, like short curly hair. People love your sh when you wear your hair short. They love the short curly hair that you have. It makes you you're, you stand out that way. It makes you more beautiful when you have that short curly hair. Again, your eye stands out. It's your eyes. That's what stands out to most people. People love your facial expressions. They love your smile. They love your lips. Your lips. You have very rosy cheeks. Whether you're black or not. Because I see a black baby too. doesn't matter if you're black or not. They love your cheeks. You have puffy cheeks. I see puffy cheeks. And they love your lips. and you, As well as your smile. Something about your eyes. They love your eyes. It's, it's piercing. It pierces people. People watch you. People like to watch you. Okay, so let's get into the other two cards. People feel that you're, you have everything. People feel like you have it all. You have it all. You are the star. They feel like you have it all. You are the star. You are the star. You shine like you're free. They f they see they feel like you're free. You are the star. <sighs> like you're free. This is a, they feel like you have it all, and they feel like you're the star. You're free. It's like they feel like you are the star of your own show. You are the star. They feel like you can have everything you want in life. Because you're free. They feel like you can have everything in your life given to you. People like to give to you as well. People see you as a light. They see you as a light. And then the, the Hierophant came out as well. It's called the Wise Counselor of this deck. But it's the Hierophant on the traditional deck. That's what it represents. They see you as a light, and they see you as a teacher, a guide. They see you as a teacher, a guide. Someone who sits at the top, who stands on the top. Someone who's on, the t who's on top. I'm draw I'm being I'm drawn to the I'm I'm being drawn to like what's on the the um her robe. I think that's her robe or not. There's different symbols on it. There's the there's the cross symbol. There's the Royal Fortune. There's the Ying and the Yang. The Yin and the Yang. Um there's the moon, the rest the resting moon. There's the Star of David. They see that you're you are of the occult. You know different knowledges about life. They see you as a teacher as well. I don't know if I said that, but they do see you as a teacher of of the unknown. They, they, they feel like you teach them about the unknown and that you sit at the top. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, this character type is very interesting. I'm going to leave it here. I didn't want it to be too long. But when it comes to Rapunzel, there's something much more... To this character, obviously, um, her power, her essence. This that's what stood out in this reading. Um, and the flower, I mentioned that the flower was always hers. It was always meant to be for her. So that flower is her light. That's what it represents. Her light, her true power. And I feel like it awoken her when she was sick, when she was dying. That's when it awoken. But in the movie, how they played it out, it was like as if the flower was outside of her. It was about. It was already in her. It just awoken her. To who she really is. Uh, that's what I was getting from that. But there's something about her power that stands out. Uh, something about her hair. Something about her smile. 
um, and her presence, her soul, her light, it draws people in. People are attracted to it. People bow down to it. People are intimidated by it. People feel unworthy by her light. They don't feel like they amount to her success. or It's not even about success. They don't amount to her. No matter what they have, what they accomplish, they don't amount to her. That's very interesting. So there's something more to Tangled. I may do a lot of video, video about this character because I feel like it might come up again. But for right now, this is my decoding. Thank you. Bye. Can you feel when the wind is?